bless you. Mungu awabariki. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. I am Pastor Tinashe Mahere. Mimi ni mchungaji Tinashe Mahere. From uh, Benoni City Tabernacle. Kutoka maskani ya Benon uh, from South Africa. Uh, ilioko Afrika Kusini. Uh, I bring greetings from South Africa. Na waleteeni salamu kutoka Afrika Kusini. ask for a little bit uh, volume on my monitor. Nitaomba e, sauti iongezwe i- kidogo. Amen. So that uh, the pastor made sure that I have a lot of services. Uh, and uh, so I, I'm trying not to strain my voice. Kuna jaribu kutuuliza nisitumie sauti kubwa. I'm so happy to be here. Kwa hiyo nafuraha sana kuwa hapa. It's my first time in East Africa. Ni mara yangu ya kwanza kuwa Afrika Mashariki. And uh, my first time in Tanzania. Na mara yangu ya kwanza kuwa Tanzania. First time in Dar es Salaam. Ni mara ya kwanza kuwa Dar es Salaam. I believe we are going to have wonderful times. Naamini tutakuwa na wakati mzuri sana. We want to appreciate Pastor Arnold Nsuya. Ngependa kumshukuru mchungaji Arnold Nsuya and his wife na mke wake and the church na kanisa kwa ujumla for, for the invitation. Kwa ajili ya mwaliko. The saints in South Africa watakatifu walioko Afrika Kusini I did not tell them. Sikuambia I only told the people that were close to me. Niwaambia tu wale watu walioko karibu nami. Because we have some meetings back home. Kwa sababu tuna mikutano inaendelea kule nyumbani. And I was afraid if I tell them I'm coming. Na nilikuwa naogopa kwamba nikiwaambia kwamba nitakuja na kuja huko. Some people will not come for the meetings. Baadhi ya watu hawataenda kwenye mkutano kule. Because they know pastor is not going to come. Sasa wanajua mchungaji hata kuwepo. Uh, but uh, I thought uh, uh, we had planned to come in 2019. Lakini na kumbuka tulikuwa na mpango wa nilikuwa na mpango wa kuja huku 2019. And then uh, COVID happened. Sasa corona ikaingia and uh, we had to rearrange. Na bibi sasa tupange upya. But uh, I believe God had seen it now. Lakini naamini Mungu alikuwa ameliona kwamba ni sasa. And yeah. So I believe uh, kwamba, uh, we shall have a wonderful times. Tutakuwa na wakati wa kipekee. Uh, the name Tinashe is the same as the name Emmanuel. Ni jina Tinashe ni sawasawa tu na Emmanuel. Which means God is with us. Ambayo inamaanisha Mungu yupo pamoja nasi. So I believe God is with us. Na amini Mungu yupo pamoja nasi. And will be with us. Na atakuwa pamoja nasi. Amen. Yeah, uh, this is a beautiful church. Hili ni kanisa zuri sana. And uh, I, I like the windows. Na nimependa madilisha ya lini. Uh, I see Brother Branham. Na mwona ndu Branham. So, you see, when you go somewhere, you must learn something. Unajua, unapoenda maali popote na bidu jifunze jambo flani. And steal something. Na uliibe. Jambo hilo. So I'm going to steal that. Kwa nitaiba na hiyo na mimi. We thank God so much. Aye, uh, nawashukuru sana. I trust all is well. Let's stand up on our feet. Na amini kila kitu kiko vizuri hebu tusimame kwenye miguu yetu. We don't mm. want to uh, take too much time. Hatutaki kuchukua muda mrefu. Tonight is our first service. Eh usiku wa leo ndio ibada yetu ya kwanza. So We'll try and just be brief. Kwa hivyo tutajitahidi tuende kwa kifupi. Mm. By the grace of God. Kwa nema ya Mungu. So the pastor we spoke I said I don't want to take much time. 
kwa mchungaji tuliongea nikamwambia sitachukua muda mrefu. So he said you can take maybe one hour 30 minutes. Sema unaweza labda ukatumia lisali moja na nusu. So I'll take one hour 30 minutes. Kwa hiyo nitatumia lisali moja na nusu. He will take his one hour 30 minutes. Na yeye atachukua mtafsina hata chukua lisali lake moja na nusu. Three hours. Kwa hiyo jumla itakuwa masaa matatu. Amen. Let's open our Bibles to the book of St. John. Tufungue Biblia zetu katika kitabu cha Yohana Mtakatifu. Um, you know, we just connected via the internet. Unajua e, tumeunganisha tu kupitia mtandao with uh, with pastor. E, tumeunganisha kupitia mtandao na mchungaji. And uh, we just loved one another. Na tukapendana moja kwa mwingine. And uh, uh, you know, I'm already inviting him to South Africa. Na unajua tayari nimesha mwalika Afrika Kusini. He says he's never been there. Anasema ajawai kuenda huko. He must come and see. Sasa inapasa aji aone. And I believe it will be wonderful. Na amini takuwa ni nzuri sana. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, St. John chapter 1. Bibi inasema katika Yohana mtakatifu sura ya kwanza. Um. Let's read. Ebu tusome hapo. Says he came to his own. Yohana mtakatifu sura ya kwanza mstari wa 11. And his own received him not. Alikuja kwa walio wake wala walio wake hawakumpokea. But as many as received him bali wote waliompokea to them gave he power to become sons of God. Aliwapa uwezo wakufanyika watoto wa Mungu. Even to them that believe on his name. Ndio wale waliaminio jina lake. Let us bow our heads. Hebu tuinamishe vichwa vyetu tuombe. Father we thank you for we've read what we believe to be your scripture. Baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu tunaamini kwamba tulichokisoma ni neno lako. Pray that you may anoint it now tonight that it may be spirit filled spoken words. Tunaomba kwamba utalipaka mafuta ili iwe neno lililopakwa mafuta ilo nenwa. For a man in his own capacity is not able to be a blessing to people. Kwa sababu mwanadamu kwa jitihada zake mwenyewe hawezi kuwa baraka kwa watu. We are not uh, leaning on uh, men's understanding but uh, on the revelation that was brought by Malachi 4. Hatuishi kwa kutegemea akili za wanadamu bali ufunuo ulioletwa na Malaki 4. May the same pillar of fire that accompanied the ministry of Brother Branham be with us tonight. Yalia kwamba nguzo ya moto ile ile iliyoambatana na huduma ya William Marion Branham itakuwa pamoja nasi hapa. We praise we commit all things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Tunaomba na ukabidhi mambo yote katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Mungu I pray that the Lord may help me tonight. Naomba kwamba Mungu atanisaidia usiku wa leo, jioni ya leo. Uh, mostly I preach alone. E, mara nyingi sana na ubiri peke yangu. So I just pray that I can I I will not move too fast. Kwa hiyo naomba kwamba Mungu atanisaidia nisiende kwa speed sana. Praise the Lord. So just to to get familiar with one another. Kwa sasa ili tuweze kufahamiana moja kwa mwingine. I would like to speak on a reception. Ningependa kunena juu ya mapokezi. So usually what I do is when I travel. Mara nyingi sana daima ninachokifanyaga nikisafiri. I start off with a subject that I am currently preaching. Uwa na na anzaga na so mambao ni yuko analo kanisa ni kuangu. Because I believe the bride is one. Kwa sababu na mi ni bibiarusi ni moja. So there is the inspiration is one. Na uvuvi oni moja. So there is no trying to adjust and all that. Kwa yuo akuna kujaribu kurekebisha apa na mambo kama hayo. I I feel I'm I'm as good as I'm in Benoni. Na jisikia kwamba niko tu vizuri kama navyo kuwa kule Benoni. So I'm like a co-pastor. Kwa hiyo mimi hapa ni kama mchungaji msaidise. So if I if I if I you know step on your toes. Kwa hiyo nikikanyaga kwenye vidole vyako vya miguu. The pastor will come and you know sort you out. Mchungaji atakuja <laughs> na atafanya ataweka mambo vizuri. Yeah, you, you do it. You say no, don't worry it's our brother. <laughs> e, kwa hiyo ataweka mambo vizuri anasema msijali ni ndugu yetu. 
Amen. Amen. But uh, just know I believe the same message. Lakini jueni kwamba naamini ujumbe ule ule that you believe. Ambao mnaamini ninyi. There's one thing that brings us together. Kuna kitu kimoja kinachotuleta pamoja. Is the prophet of Malachi 4. Hicho ni nabii wa Malaki 4. And uh, I've been to many countries, Pastor. Naami nimekuwa katika nchi nyingi sana mchungaji. I've met people I've never known. Nimekutana na watu ambao sijawahi kuwafahamu. But meeting them lakini kukutana nao tu just fall in love with them unajikuta unawapenda and uh, i can talk to somebody na, naweza nikaongea na mtu fulani i have never known ambaye sijawahi kumfahamu and we talk for hours na tunaongea kwa masaa and, uh, and and i can't talk with my relatives na siwezi kuongea na ndugu zangu wa kimwili that have grown up with ambao nimekuwa pamoja nao for hours kwa kwa Siwezi kuongea nao kwa masaa because somewhere in the conversation kwa sababu hapo katikati kwenye mazungumzo the, the story is finished unakuta mazungumzo yanakatika yanaishia hapo maybe we talk about politics baadaye utakujikuta wanazungumzia siasa and then we finish we talk about cars ukimaliza tunazungumzia magari we finish we talk about this other relative tunazungumzia bali za ndugu mwingine baadaye and, and in 30 minutes time alafu ndani ya nusu saa the stories are over hadithi zote zimeisha but i meet a brother lakini kukutana na ndugu for the first time mara ya kwanza tu we talk about the seven seals tunazungumzia miuri saba and we, we we go for 7 hours tuna kata masaa 7 and then we say brother i have to go alafu anasema ndugu nataka kuondoka and the brother says no 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 na ndugu anasema hapana hapana bado you 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 can't go huwezi kuondoka hivi hivi so my real relatives ndugu zangu kabisa kabisa is those that believe the message ni wale wanaoamini ujumbe can you say amen unaweza kusema amina and tonight i feel very good Na jioni ya leo najisikia vizuri. I, I feel I'm in the right place. Najisikia niko mahali sahihi with the right kind of people. Na aina sahihi ya watu. Amen. Amen. Uh, <laughs> reception. Mapokezi. I I see we're going to have a problem. Naona tutakuwa na na chida hapa. The way you people love the word. Namna ninyi watu mnavyolipenda neno. problem this weekend. Sasa weekend hii utakuwa na matatizo. Satan is in trouble. Shetani ana wakati mzuri. Hallelujah. Amen. Reception mapokezi is the action or process of receiving something. Ni kitendo ama mchakato wa kupokea kitu fulani. So so t- t- reception is the action of receiving something that has been sent to you. Kwa mapokezi ni kitendo cha kupokea kitu ambacho umetumiwa. Or something that has been given to you. Ama kitu ambacho umepewa. It, it's an act of acceptance. Ni kile kitendo cha namna ya cha kupokea. Now now reception is an important thing. Kwa hiyo uh, mapokezi ni kitu muhimu sana. Now we see that uh, reception is a direct effect on the results. Tunaona kwamba mapokezi yana madhara kwa matokeo. The Bible says in the book of John, Biblia inasema katika Yohana mtakatifu. He says as many as received him. Inasema kwamba wale wote waliompokea. To them gave he the power to become sons. Hao aliwapa nguvu ya kufanyika wana. In, in other words, sonship Kwa hivyo kwa maneno mengine uana is, is connected to reception. Una una uhusiano na namna ya kupokea. Those that didn't receive him, kwa wale ambao hawakumpokea, they did not become sons. Hawakufanyika wana. But but those that received him, lakini wale waliompokea, gave he the power. Hao aliwapa nguvu to become sons of God. Uwezo wa kufanyika wana wa Mungu. Now the, we see in the in the in the bible kwa hiyo tunaona katika biblia we see two characters tunachukua watu mbalimbali we see a woman by the name of mary tunakuta mwanamke anaitwa mariam and then we see a man by the name of zacharias tunaona mwanaume mwingine anaitwa zakaria and their reception to the word of god na wao namna ya upokeaji wao wa neno la mungu determined the results ulizaa matokeo tofauti in, in Luke chapter 1 na Luka sura ya kwanza we see the angel coming down tunaona malaika anashuka to 
visit Zachariah. Zakaria. And the angel said, Zachariah. Na, na malaika kasema, Zakaria, I am Gabriel. Mimi ni Gabriel. Sent from the presence of God. Wa kutoka wa Mungu. And I've got a promise to you. Na, na hadi kwa yako. That you shall have a son. Kwa mwana. And Elizabeth thy wife. Na Elizabeth mke wako, Your womb shall be opened. Tumbo lake la uzazi litafunguka. And she will have a son na in the old mwana, age. Na mzee. And Zachariah, na Zachariah doubted the promise. Akatilia shaka ahadi. He said, how can it be? Asema inaweze kanaje? That me an old man. Mimi nikiwa mzee receive a son. Nipate mwana. It, how can it be possible? Inaweze kanaje? And the angel said, na malaika akasema, because you have doubted, kwa sababu umetilia shaka, you shall be dumb. Utakuwa bubu. You shall not speak. Hutanena. until the sun comes to effect Paka mwana now that that scripture Sasa andiko hilo shows that unbelief does not hinder god it only hinders the individual Kuna tu ule mtu zacharias unbelief Ukuto kwa mini kwa Zakaria. did not stop the process hakukuzuia mchakato his bad reception kule, ule, ule upokeaji wake mbaya affected him alone ulimdhuru yeye peke yake and i want to tell you tonight na nataka nikwambie wewe leo you might be a zakaria unaweza kawa zakaria you might have come here with doubt Naezekano umekuja hapa na mashaka. Your doubt is not going to stop the coming of John. Mashaka yako hayatazuia furaha. Are you hearing me? Amen. God wants to do something this weekend. Mungu anataka afanye jambo fulani weekend hii. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants to do something this weekend. Mungu anataka afanye jambo fulani juma hili. I had to cancel everything. Mimi ribidi nivute Vunje, vunje mipango yote everything I cancelled everything. Nilifuta kila kitu. I said I'm going to be in Dar es Salaam. Nikasema naenda Dar es Salaam. And I know. Kwa sababu najua. I know ni, God will do something. Nina hakika Mungu atafanya kitu. Mahali hapa. Zakaria. Wewe Zakaria. Zakaria, Zakaria. Wewe Zakaria, Zakaria. Some people will have to be dumb. Watu plani watapatwa na ububu. They will have to be silent until Monday. Watakuwa kimya mpaka Jumatatu. Because there is an Elizabeth somewhere. Kwa sababu kuna Elizabeth mahali fulani. That God wants to give a son. Mungu anataka alete mwana hapa. Hallelujah. Amen. The angel said, "I am Gabriel." Malaika akasema, "Mimi ni Gabriel." Standing in the presence of God. Nikiwa nimetoka uweponi mwa Mungu. I am here to give you a promise. Niko hapa kukupatia ahadi. You shall have a son. Utakuwa na mwana. And you shall name his son John. Na jina lako utamuita Yohana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he shall drink neither wine. Nae hata kunywa divai no strong drink wala kilevi cha aina yoyote for he is a ministry kwa sababu ana huduma huyo to turn the heart ya kugeuza mioyo of the fathers ya kina baba to the children kuelekea watoto zakaria being a priest zakaria akiwa ni kuhani he was supposed to understand ilipaswa aelewe the promise of his day ahadi ya siku yake hallelujah amen Zachariah was supposed to understand. Zakaria ilipasa aelewe. The promise of his day. Ahadi ya siku yake. But he doubted the promise. Lakini alitilia shaka ahadi. And the promise went to, to Elizabeth. Ahadi kaenda kwa Elizabeth. Elizabeth conceived. Elizabeth akapata mimba. And the Bible says she hid Bibiye herself. Biblia inasema alijificha. She hid herself for 5 months. Alijificha kwa miezi mitano. Nobody should see me. Ah, mtu yote asimuone. I'm carrying a special child. Nimebeba mtoto maalum. And the child came by angelic instruction. By supernatural visitation. Kwa, kwa <laughs> ziara ya Hallelujah. Amen. When God has given you something. Wakati Mungu amekupa kitu. By supernatural instruction. Kwa maagizo ya kimbinguni. Brother you, you don't have to speak. Ndugu una haja ya kuongea ongea. It will speak. I, 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 was, I was telling the church 
Nilikuwa naambia kanisa. I said you know sometimes we preach the third pool. Naweza nikamwambia unajua wakati mwingine tunahubiri mvuto wa tatu. We we, are, we we speak we say you must speak. Tunasema tunawaambia watu unajua anatakiwa mnene. There is the part of the third pool where you speak. Kuna sehemu ya mvuto wa tatu ambapo unanena. Speak and go forward. Unanena unasonga mbele. I said but but brother Branham says. Lakini ndugu Branham anasema it will speak. Ki i uo utajinenea so, 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 wenyewe even if you don't speak hata wewe usiponena that that third pool itself huo mvuto wa tatu wenyewe it will speak for itself utajinenea wenyewe can you say amen naweza kusema amina can you say amen naweza kusema amina your unbelief kutokuamini kwako will not hinder it hakuwezi kuzuia mvuto wa tatu lakini wenyewe will speak for utajinenea hey zakaria wewe zakaria you can be silent unaweza kuwa kimya but the visitation of gabriel lakini kwa ziara ya gabriel it shall not fail hautashindwa hiyo it's yu. going to speak utajinenea haleluya amen haleluya haleluya and elizabeth na elizabeth conceived the son akazaa mwana and he himself akajificha and uh, You know for five months Na unajua kwa miezi mitano She was in hiding Alikuwa kwenye maficho And then towards the end of five months Na ikifika ilipofika mwisho wa miezi mitano came again Gabriel akaja tena mm. Mm. Gabriel came again Gabriel akaja tena Let's 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 open Saint Luke chapter 1 Hebu tusome The same Gabriel Luka sura ya kwanza came mstari back wa, again wa kwanza Gabriel arudi says akasema ndugu niongezee sauti kidogo on verses 26 kwenye mstari wa 26 just in the sixth month kwenye mwezi wa sita the angel gabriel was sent from god Gab, malaika gabrieli alitumwa kutoka kwa mungu unto a city of galilee kwenda katika mji wa galilaya named nazareth unaoitwa nazareth to a virgin kwa mwanamke bikira espoused to a man ambaye alikuwa amechumbiwa na mwanaume whose name was Joseph jina lake alikuwa ni Yusufu of the house of David wa mbali ya Daudi and the virgin's name was Mary na jina la bikira huyo alikuwa ni Mariam and the angel came in unto her na malaika akamjia huyo and said hell aingia nyumbani kwa kwake akasema salam So I, I'm not sure if they, they interpreted it well. Hey, sina si hakika kama walitafsiri vizuri. Brother Bram says stop. You, you, you got it right. Eh uh, Brother Bram. Hey, you see the Catholic says here it was a greeting. Eh hey, unajua wakatoliki wanasema hiyo salamu kwamba ilikuwa wanasema ilikuwa ni ni salamu. But Brother Bram says it means stop. Lakini na ndugu Bram anasema inamaanisha hebu tulia. Yes. Simama. It says thou art highly favored Ebu tulia kwanza. Wewe uliyepewa neema na Bwana. The Lord is with thee. Wewe uliyepewa neema, Bwana yu pamoja nami. Blessed art thou among women. Umebarikiwa miongoni mwa wanawake wote. Amen. Amen. Now 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 when we talking about Mary. Sasa tunapozungumza habari za wanaume. Brother Branham says Mary was a type of the bride. Ndu Branham anasema Mariamu alikuwa ni mfano wa bibi harusi. So when we are reading here I'm not reading about Mary of the Old Testament. Sasa ninaposoma hapa sisomi habari za Mariamu agano la kale. We are talking about you. This Na is the Mary. habari zenu ninyi ndio Mariamu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When she saw him alipomwona she was troubled at his saying alitatizika kwa mazungumzo yale and cast in her mind what manner of salutation naye akawaza muoni mwake ni aina gani hii ya salamu and the angel said unto her na malaika akamwambia fear not mary usiogope mariam and i'm here to say fear not mary nami niko hapa kusema usiogope mariam Thou he has found favor with God. Kwa maana umepata neema kwa Mungu. And behold thou shall conceive in thy womb. Na tazama utachukua mimba and bring forth a son. Na kuzaa mtoto mwanamme. And shall call his name Jesus. Na jina lake utamuita Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. You shall conceive. 
Utapata mimba. Let me revise that. Hebu ngoja nirudie. You have already conceived because brother Branham says kwa sababu Branham anasema in the message of uh, is the spoken word is the original seed kwenye ujumbe wa lile neno lile neno ndio mbegu ya asili says the angel told me anasema malaika aliniambia pick up the pen and write toa kalamu yako uandike and while he was writing na wakati alipokuwa akiandika there was a message ujumbe ulikuja now the message was to the church ujumbe huo ulikuwa kwa ajili ya kanisa Hey. Hey. I hope I'll be able to preach. Eh, nafikiri nitaweza kuhubiri. There is a message. Kuna ujumbe that is for everybody out there. Ni kwa kwa ambao ni kwa ajili ya kila mtu nje. You can take the Bible. Unaweza ukachukua Biblia. In the general message. Huyu ujumbe ni ujumbe wa jumla huyu. Pick up a few things. Ukachukua vitu vichache. That's why you see sometimes the Pentecostals they hit the nail. Ndio maana unaweza ukaona wakati mwingine wa Pentecostal wanagongelea msumari. Sometimes they miss it wakati mwingine wanaukosa it's a general message ni ujumbe wa jumla but if you want the message to the bride lakini kama unataka ujumbe wa bibi harusi it, it, it is not given to every man haupewi kila mtu uh, when, when god wanted to give a message to the bride mungu alipotaka kutoa ujumbe kwa kwa, it, kwa ajili ya bibi harusi it's a secret message ni ujumbe wa siri so he tells the man kwaana mwambia huyo mwanao Pick up the pen and write. Hebu twa kalamu yako uandike. Here is a message to the bride. Hapa kuna ujumbe kwa ajili ya bibi harusi. He says the word. Anasema neno. Is in the bride. Tayari liko ndani ya bibi harusi. It was in Mary. Kama lilivyokuwa ndani ya Mariamu. She has the mind of Christ. Yeye anaye akili ya Yesu Kristo. She has that said the lord anayo bwana asema hivi can you say amen mnaweza kusema amina tonight leo you have that said the lord wewe una bwana asema hivi tonight siku ya leo i have that said the lord mimi ni bwana asema hivi the word neno is not in jerusalem haliko yerusalemu the word neno is not on tapes and books haliko kwenye kanda wala vitabu is now in the bride neno liko ndani ya bibi harusi can you say amen naweza kusema amina there is a letter there is a letter kuna barua written to the bride ameandikiwa bibi harusi mm. mm. hallelujah amen amen then said mary unto the angel ndipo Mariamu akamwambia malaika How shall it be? Litawezekanaje jambo hili? Seeing I know not a man. Kwa kuwa mimi sijamsimjui mwanaume yote. And the angel said unto her. Na malaika akajibu akamwambia. The Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu shall come upon thee. Atakujilia juu yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu shall come upon thee. Atakujilia juu yako. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Na nguvu zake aliye juu zitakufunika. Therefore also the holy thing. Kwa sababu hiyo hicho kitakacho hicho Okay. He didn't say the holy son. Ah. Kwa hiyo na kwa sababu hiyo hicho kitakatifu. He said the holy thing. Hakusema mtoto mtakatifu, alisema hicho kitu kitakatifu. The, the, the word thing. Unajua neno kitu is, a, is an assemble of a mystery. Ni ni neno linalowakilisha siri fulani. Whenever you hear the word thing, ukisikia neno kitu, you should know that it's a mystery. Lazima ujue kwamba hicho ni fumbo the, the, fulani. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, Nebuchadnezzar dreamt a dream. Nebuchadnezzar aliota ndoto. And he forgot. Akasahau. And he said, I'm calling the Chaldeans akawaita wakaldayo the astrologers wale wanajimu and the wise men na wenye akili to tell me what i forgot akawaambia wamwambie kila alichosahau give me the interpretation thereof na awapatie tafsiri yake that is the mystery of the seventh seal hiyo ndio siri ya muhuri wa saba that's the mystery of the seventh seal hiyo ni siri ya muhuri wa saba he dreamt it Aliota, he forgot it. Akaisahau. Now he wants you to say what was not what cannot be remembered. 
anataka sasa umwambie kitu ambacho hakiwezi kukumbukwa alafu utafsiri maana yake and brother branham says if if it was not opened it meant life and death na ndu branham anasema kama usingefunguliwa kama kama hii singetafsiriwa ile ndio tulimaanisha kifo and nebukadnezar said na nebukadnezar akasema if you cannot give me the interpretation kama mwezi kunipatia tafsiri i'm going to kill all of you na waueni wote hapa So they came to him. Sasa wakamjia waka. And they said how can we give you the interpretation? Sasa wakasema tunakupaje tafsiri? At least give us the the dream first. Angalau yani utupatie ndoto kwanza. And and then we can tell you the interpretation. Ndipo tutakupatia tafsiri. And Nebuchadnezzar said that Neb- thing. Neb- Nebuchadnezzar akasema iki kitu. That thing has departed from me. Iki kitu kishaniacha. What is the thing? The thing is the mystery. Sasa hicho kitu ni nini? Ni siri. Are, are you hearing me? So, so, so you need a Daniel. Sasa unahitaji Daniel. Who can go in the bad part? Ambaye anaweza kwenda kwenye sehemu. God's mind. Anaweza kurudi kwenye nyuma ya ubongo wa Mungu. Amen. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. You need a man. Unahitaji mwanaume. Be, be, because John saw it. Kwa sababu Yohana aliona. When he was about to write. It, wakati anataka kuandikwa. He, he was told do not write. Akaambiwa usiandike. So so the thing is not there. Kwa sababu hicho kitu sasa hakipo. But, but it says don't write. Aliambiwa usiandike. What you have not written. Kila ambacho hujiandika. Seal it. Kitie muhuri. So the thing was sealed with a thing written. Kile kitu kikatiwa muhuri bila kuandikwa so 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 oh listen amen so we, we, we don't just need a man that can unseal it kwa hiyo hatuhitaji tu mwanaume wa kufunua we need a man that can unseal it tunataka mwanaume wa kufunua and tell us what is not written na atuambia ambacho hakijaandikwa and tell us what is the meaning na atupe maana <laughs> maana yake hey. amen okay So here is what the seventh series. Sasa huu hapa muri wa 7 huu. The seventh series coming to an exam. We muri wa 7 ni kuingia kwenye mtihani. With a question paper ukiwa na karatasi and, ya maswali and an answer sheet. Na una karatasi ya majibu. But the question paper is blank. Lakini ile eh, karatasi ya maswali imeachwa tupu so, wazi. So, so you must write the question first. Kwa hiyo natakiwa uandike swali kwanza. And tell us the answer. Alafu ujibu na ujaze na hey! <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So Daniel comes. Kasa Daniel anakuja. And he says, "Here is the thing." Anasema kitu hiki hapa. Here is the revelation of the mystery. Huyu hapa ufunuo wa siri. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. He says you dreamt a dream. Akasema uliota ndoto. You dreamt a head of gold. Uliota ndoto uh, kichwa cha dhahabu. A chest of silver. Na kifua cha fedha. The thighs of brass na eh, miguu ya shaba the feet of iron na unyayo wa, wa chuma the legs, the legs of iron e miguu ya chuma and the feet of iron and clay e na nyayo zilikuwa chuma na udongo five kingdoms falme tano and nebukadnezar was happy na nebukadnezar akafurahi hallelujah sema hallelujah hallelujah that's what i dream ndoto niliyoota And he says that's not the interesting part. Asema ah hiyo lakini bado bado. Alijanivutia sana sasa. Yeye yo king. Hebu sikia sasa mfalme. The interpretation of the thing. Tafsiri ya kitu hicho. And then brother Branham comes. Ndipo ndugu Branham anakuja. Says is this the time? Asema eh mabwana huu ndio wakati. He reads six dreams. He speaks about six dreams. Ananena habari ya ndoto sita and the seventh one was a vision. Alafu ya saba ilikuwa ni ono. And he says Akasema Junior Jackson eh Junior Jackson dreamt a dream aliota ndoto like Nebuchadnezzar dreamt a dream kama vile Nebuchadnezzar alivyoota ndoto So who is speaking Sasa nani anazungumza Daniel Daniel huyo Daniel is the one speaking Huyo ni Daniel Hallelujah Hallelujah He is just telling Junior Jackson Anamwambia Junior Jackson. The dream including the parts that Junior Jackson did not tell him. Akamwelezea ndoto Junior Jackson. Akaambatanisha na vipanda ambavyo Junior Jackson alikuwa amesahau hajavielezea. Put a comma there. 
Let me show you why you cannot be an eighth messenger. Ebu ngoja nikuonyeshe kwa nini hapawezi kuepo na mjumbe wa nane. You cannot replace brother Branham. Uwezi kuchukua mahali pa ndugu Branham. To, 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 to be a prophet. Ili kuwa nabii. You must dream the dream safe. Inabidi wote ndoto kwanza. For you to interpret it. Kabla hujaitafsiri. You see the problem of today's prophets you just tell him what you have dreamt even if you lie. Unajua tatizo ya leo ya wanabii wa leo. Unawaambia kwanza ndoto alafu anakupa tafsiri ya uongo. Lakini inabii wa kweli. Brother Brana many times people would come and then you say no you forgot. Ndubrana mara nyingi watu walikuwa wanamjia na wanambia ah, kuna sehemu umesahau. There is this part and there is this part there is this part. Kuna sehemu hii na hii na hii kwenye ndoto yako. You, I, I, Lazima ulete. Okay, let's not go there. Hebu ngoja tuache. That, 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 that thing. Sasa kile kitu will be a only thing. Kitakuwa kitu kitakatifu. Which shall be born of thee and shall be called the son of God. Ambacho utazaa nacho kitaitwa mwana wa Mungu. No when 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 this happens. Sasa hii ilipotokea Mary said. Mariamu alisema. Behold. Tazama. The handmaid of the Lord. Mjakazi wako Hallelujah. Mja, mjakazi wa Bwana huyu hapa. She reintroduced herself. Akajitambulisha mwenye akajiachilia. To Gabriel. Kwa Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Behold. Tazama. A greater than Solomon is here. Aliye mkuu kuliko Sulemani yuko hapa. Behold. Tazama. A greater than John the Baptist is here. Aliye mkuu kuliko Yohana Mbatizaji yuko hapa. Behold. Angalia. A greater than John is here. Aliye mkuu kuliko Yohana yuko hapa. And brother Branham reintroduces himself. Na ndugu Branham akajitambulisha upya. He upia. says behold a greater than all of them. Tazama aliye mkuu kuliko wote hao is here. Yuko hapa. And I'm here to say. Na niko hapa kusema. Behold. Tazama the handmaid of the Lord. Yule mjakazi wa Bwana. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, Mary is a tailor-made person. Uh, me, Mariamu alikuwa ni mtu aliyetengenezwa kama kiwakilishi. She is a special creation for the promise. Alikuwa ni kiumbe maalum kwa ajili ya ahadi. And she said, "Be it." Na akasema na iwe hivyo unto me kwangu according to thy way sawa sawa na neno lako can you say amen naweza kusema amina be it unto me na iwe hivyo kwangu according to thy way sawa sawa na neno lako the, the, the issue is not about you sasa swala lenyewe swala sio wewe perfection is not about you swala sio wewe mwenyewe ulivyo i'm not the one who sent the angel sio mimi niye tuma malaika the angel came to me malaika amejijia mwenyewe listen i was just walking mimi nilikuwa niko tu hapo na tembea and god sent an angel na mungu akatuma malaika i was just living my life in south africa nilikuwa naishi maisha yangu hayo ya kutafuta kusini mungu akatuma nabii He says behold akasema tazama behold tazama i mimi the lord bwana send you nitakutumia wewe Mary, wewe mariam the prophet elijah nitakutumia elia nabii the end kabla ya mwisho so all i need to do kwa unachohitaji i tu. don't need to argue sitaki kubishana i don't need debate sitaki kujadili I, i don't need to prove myself sitaki kujithibitisha be it unto me na iwe hivyo kwa according to the way sawa sawa na neno lako and she conceived na akapata mimi immediately mara moja how did she conceive alipataje mimi by the spoken word kwa neno lilo nenwa of the messenger la mjumbe she conceived by the spoken word alipata mimba kwa neno lilo nenwa and when she conceived na alipopata ile mimba the fellowship circle changed ule e, e, mzunguko wa ushirika ukabadilika nitahubiri when something happens inside of you kitu fulani kikifanyika ndani yako your fellowship circle changes Mzu, yani aina yako ya ushirika inabadilika Mary was a young girl Mariamu alikuwa ni binti mdogo Brother Branham says she was 17 years old Dubrana anasema alikuwa na miaka 17 So Mary goes to an old lady akaenda kwa bibi mzee I, I, I don't care maybe you are a young sister 
and you feel like I can't fellowship with the elderly sisters when, when you receive the Holy Ghost there, there's no old sister that's, that's, that's why in the message we don't have grandfather and grandmother because in heaven there is no grandmother in heaven there is no grandfather in heaven there is no small boy there is brother and sister we are all the same can you say amen? are you hearing me? what you receive Kile unachopokea. Peter minds your fellowship circle. Kinaamua aina yako ya ushirika. That, that's why Paul. Ndio maana Paulo. After he met the supernatural. Baada kukutana na cha kimbinguni. He came back. Alirudi. And there was Peter. Na kulikuwa na Petro. There was James. Kulikuwa na Yakobo. There was Bartholomew. Kulikuwa na Bartholomew. There were these different disciples. Kulikuwa na mitume wote wengine hao. We were talking about their experiences with Jesus. Wakawa wanazungumza uzoefu wao na Yesu jinsi walivyotembea naye. And they would talk about how he slept at, 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 at Lazarus house. Na wangeweza kunena jinsi walivyolala nyumbani kwa Lazaro. Sometimes you know change fish. Wakati mwingine walikuta samaki hakuna. Fed 5000 people. Akalisha watu 1500. Enjoying those testimonies. Wakifurahia shirika ushirika wa namna hii. And here comes Paul. Hapa anakuja Paulo sasa. He, he, he doesn't have a fish testimony. Hana ushuhuda wa samaki. He doesn't have a net testimony. Hana ushuhuda wa nyavu. He never saw any boy being raised to the dead. Hakujawahi ajawahi kuona kijana anafufuliwa. And he said after he was seen of you. After he was seen of all of you. Akasema baada ya baada ya kuwa mmemuona ninyi he was seen also of me baada kuwa mmemuona ninyi aliniona na mimi but not after the flesh lakini si kwa jinsi ya mwili but i have seen the secret of him bali nimeona siri yake ilivyo and he says this same Christ I am preaching. Akasema Kristo yule yule naewahubiri. But not for a fellowship of flesh and blood. Lakini si kwa ushirika wa nyama na damu. He says for the fellowship of the mystery. Anasema lakini ushirika wa kisiri. Hey, listen. Hebu sikiliza. I did not see William Branham. Mimi si kumuona William Branham. I did not walk with him. Wala si kutembea pamoja na. I might not have the testimonies. Naweza nisiwe na shuhuda zake. Of how he went maybe he healed a crippled boy. Na namna alivyoponya viwete, namna alivyotembea. All the other brothers who say maybe we went hunting together. Wengine wanasema tulienda kuwinda pamoja na. But after they saw brother Branham. Lakini baada ya kumuona ndugu Branham. I saw him. Mimi nilimuona. But not the son of Charles and Ella Branham. Lakini sio mtoto wa Ella Branham. I saw Malachi 4. Mimi liona malaki. Nikaona ufunuo 10. And I came to the fellowship. Na nikaja kwenye ushirika. Fellowship of the mystery. Ushirika wa siri. Hey Mary. Amen. Mary. Mariam. Mary. Mariam. It's time to go to Elizabeth. Anajaribu kwenda kwa Elizabeth. It's time to go to Elizabeth. Anaenda kwa Elizabeth. What inside of you? Kilichoko nini kiko ndani yako? Is the same that inside of me. Kilichoko ndani yako ndio kilichoko ndani yako. That's why I come to Tanzania. Ndio maana nimekuja Tanzania. I look at the sisters. Nikaangalia wadada. I see their hair. Nikaona nywele zao. Natural hair. Natural kabisa. I see their dresses. Nikaona nguo zao. Natural dresses. Za asili kabisa. I see the brothers. Nikaona ndugu. Real gentlemen. Wa ndugu wa ungwana kabisa. What is that? Ni nini hiyo? Something in me. Kitu ndani yangu. Something in you. Kitu ndani yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You come to South Africa. Njoni South Africa. You come to South Africa. Njoni Africa kusini. You see people. Mtaona watu. Like you. Kama ninyi. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Listen. Ndio bwana. Don't compromise. Usipatane. Elizabeth. Wewe Elizabeth. Don't compromise. Usipatane. You may feel like I'm alone. Unaweza ukajisikia kama uko peke yako. Wait until 6 months is over. Subiri miezi sita ipite. 
Wait just for six months. Subiri tu miezi sita. There is a Mary. Kuna Mariam. That is going to come your way. Ambaya takuja. Oh la la. Hallelujah. Some, sometimes in the message, we feel like I'm the only one. Lord, I'm the only one that is standing for the message. Oh, hey, relax, relax. Elijah relax. thought the same. But when he opened under, Lakini the problem says he saw 7,000 more. That believed the same message. And has not bowed to the idols of Jezebel. Jezebel. Hallelujah. Amen. When you have something special, don't just talk to everybody. They will not understand you. Why do you dress the way you dress? Even if I explain, you will not understand. Why do you talk the way you talk? Even if I explain, you will not understand. Why are there always testimonies around your life? Even if I understand, I explain, you will not understand. I am waiting for somebody who has had the same experience as me. And when I meet them, it will be a fellowship of divine beings. It, it will be one omnipotence and another omnipotence. Brother Branham says when two omnipotence when two omnipotence meet the, the miraculous Hapo lazima ya miujiza. Yes to happen. Miujiza lazima ifanyike. And it, brother Branham says. Dubrana anasema. In the message Patmos vision. Kwenye ujumbe wa ono la Patmos. He says I was going to choke it. Anasema nitaka nikabe hilo. But, but let me say. Lakini ebu nilizusema. He says do you know that a man that is fully surrendered to God. Anasema unajua mwana mtu ambaye amejiachilia kabisa kwa mungu. Is omnipotent. Ananguvu zisizo na kikomo. Da 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 da. Listen. Amen. When an omnipotence from South Africa wakati nguvu ya isiyo na kikomo imetoka Afrika Kusini meets with an omnipotence from Tanzania inakutana na nguvu isiyo na kikomo kutoka Tanzania the miraculous is supposed to take place hapo lazima miujiza ifanyike when Mary wakati Mariam met with Elizabeth alipokutana Elizabeth John who was dead Yohana aliyekuwa amekufa tumboni in his mother's womb kwenye tumbo la mama yake Hallelujah Amen At the mentioning of the name Jesus kule kutaja tu jina la Yesu for the first time kwa mara ya kwanza on mortal lips kwa midomo ya mwanadamu there was a resurrection kulikuwa na ufufuo Hallelujah Hallelujah Brother Branham says, Dubrana Zema, in the message Mary's belief, kwenye ujumbe wa imani ya Mariam, we could call it Mary's reception. Tungeweza kuita mapokezi ya Mariam. How she received. Namna alivyolipokea. The angel. Yule malaika. But Mary said, wait a minute. Lakini Mariam akasema, hebu ngoja kidogo. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. The other morning I was on my way to the well. And the same angel that appeared to Zachariah appeared to me. Malaika yule yule aliye mtokea Zachariah kan tokea mimi. Down there and I was uh, to bring forth a baby non, not knowing no man. Akasema kwamba inapasa nipate mtoto bila kujua mwanaume. And I shall call his name Jesus. Nami nimuite jina lake Yesu. Imagine such a testimony. Waza ushuhuda wa aina hiyo. You are talking. Naongea tu. I'm going to have a baby. I don't know any man. If you talk to somebody who doesn't know the scripture, they'll be like, just confess what happened. They'll say, confess your sins, don't lie to us. Brother Branham says, but Elizabeth was not shocked. She was familiar alikuwa ana uzoefu to the supernatural na mambo ya kimbinguni this message is very unusual huu ujumbe si wa kawaida 
to, to walk to a person at a taxi rank wewe uende kwa where they park buses uende kwenye kituo cha cha basi and you say to him umwambie god sent a prophet ukute mtu umwambie mtu alitupa mungu ametuma nabii in this day katika siku hii and the pillar of fire na nguzo ya moto that was then the days of moses hiyo kwepo siku za musa came with that man ilikuja na huyo nabii and it was even photographed na ikapigwa mpaka picha and he sees the message akahubiri ujumbe who calls our body changed kwamba huyo mtu akahubiri ujumbe utakaobadilisha miili yetu and my body is going to be changed na mwili wangu utabadilishwa That man will look for those people who deal with crazy people. Uyole jamaa itabidi atafute madaktari wa vichaa. I said something is wrong with this Sema, man. Uyo jamaa na matatizo. He's saying there is somebody who was sent by God somewhere. Anasema eti kuna jamaa alitumwa na Mungu. And he one day he is going to disappear. Na anasema eti siku moja atapotea. And all of us are going to remain. Eti sisi wote tutabaki. Supernatural things. Mambo ya kimbinguni. Takes people who have experienced Yana, yanahitaji watu ambao wana uzoefu na mambo ya kimbinguni and as soon as she said na mara tu aliposema mara tu aliposema Yesu little John begot a shouting spell Yohana ambaye Yohana mdogo aliyekuwa tumboni akapiga kelele kwa shangwe he began to jump in joy akaanza kuruka kwa furaha in the in the mm. in the womb ndani ya tumbo believers thou this je mnaliamini hilo john was 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 shouting yohana alikuwa anapiga kelele in the womb tumboni and received the holy ghost na akapokea roho mtakatifu in the womb tumboni kwenye tumbo la uzazi haleluya amen <laughs> and she said na akasema when comes the mother of my lord to me akasema limekuaje eh limenitokeaje ngoja nisome from when comes the mother of my lord to me here okay ah limetokeaje eh mama wa bwana wangu For as soon as your salutation came to my ears mara tu kwa sababu mara tu salamu ilivyoviingia kwenye masikio yangu my baby lived in my womb for joy mtoto wangu akapiga kelele kwa shangwe ndani ya tumbo langu and for the, and if the first time and if the first time that name of Jesus Christ was ever spoke through mortal lips na kama kwa mara ya kwanza jina la Yesu lipotamkwa kupitia midomo ya mtu anayepatikana na mauti brought life to a dead baby lilileta uzima kwa mtoto aliyekufa what ought it to do vipi litafanyaje to this kipawa tabernacle kwa kanisa hili maskani ya kipawa who claims to be born again of the spirit of the living god ambao mnasema kwamba mmezaliwa upya kwa roho mtakatifu amen amen Now sasa brother Branham says Du Branham anasema we are now winding up to a close Sasa tunafikia mwisho tunakaribia kumaliza What did she touch friends Aligusa kitu gani marafiki Tell me what kind of a power that she touched that Hebu niambieni ni aina gani ya nguvu ambayo aligusa iliweze ku of her heart kujulisha and, siri za moyo Tell what she was praying about ambayo zingeweza kujulisha alikuwa naomba kuhusu nini repeat a prayer back to her na kurudia maombi aliyokuwa nayo so brother branham has just descend a sister ndugu branham hapa alikuwa anapambanua dada mmoja and told her what she had prayed for akamwambia yale maombi aliyokuwa naomba so he is asking what did this sister touch sasa anauliza huyo dada amegusa kitu gani so, so let's see what did this sister touch hebu ngoja tuone dada aligusa nini do you think that woman praying in the name of jesus Ye, unafikiri mwanaume mwanamke huyu anayeomba katika jina la Yesu could touch anything but Jesus but Christ angeweza kugusa kitu kijide chochote isipokuwa Kristo so that's what she touched kwa hiyo aligusa Kristo who did she touch alimgusa nani Christ Kristo wake up people amkeni enyi watu to the fact that Jesus Christ 
ili kwa, katika eh, katika here, katika ukweli usiopingika kwamba Yesu Kristo yuko hapa eh, amen we are talking about reception tunazungumza kuhusu mapokezi so 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 reception is how you are receiving it sasa mapokezi ni namna gani unalipokea so brother branham is seeing that these people ndo branham anasema anasema anaona kwamba watu hawa don't know what is happening hawaelewi nini kinaendelea they, they just think this is brother billy talking wanafikiri ni huyu ndugu bill anaongea but, but this is not brother billy lakini huyu sio ndugu bill so, so he is saying what did she touch sasa anawauliza aligusa nini we mwanamke so they are supposed to see it's christ sasa wanataka waone kwamba ni kristo ameguswa wake up sasa ndio ana, anawaamsha amkeni to the fact kwenye ukweli usiopingika that jesus christ is here kwamba yesu kristo yuko hapa it's, it's, It's not me. Sio mimi. Uh, me here I'm representing him. Mimi namwakilisha tu. Right through here stands that angel. Lakini kupitia hapa moja kwa moja amesimama huyo malaika. Can't you see that light? Mnaweza kuona hiyo nuru? So there's there, there, there's a seeing and there's a seeing beyond. Sasa kuna kuona na kuona kuvuka. We, we did not receive a man sisi atukupokea mwanadamu we received god tulimpokea mungu who came veiled in a man ambaye alikuja akiwa amefichwa ndani ya mtu now the sasa, voice is not the voice of brother branham sasa sauti sio sauti ya ndugu branham the voice is the voice of god sauti ni sauti ya mungu that's why the company in america is called voice of what ndio maana ile shirika kule marekani inaitwa sauti ya nani voice of god recording is not voice of william branham sauti ya mungu hiyo rekodiwa sio sauti ya branham wake up amkeni to the fact kwenye ukweli usiopinga wake up to the fact hebu amkeni kwenye ukweli huu brother branham says in the message the angel of the lord nabii anasema kwenye ujumbe wa malaika wa bwana he says i am the voice of god anasema mimi ni sauti ya mungu to you kwenu and he said i feel you resented that Ana, na anasema kwamba nahisi kama mna aliwaingii sawa sawa and he says i'm going to repeat it again anasema ngoja nirudie tena he says i am the voice of god akasema mimi ni sauti ya mungu to you kwenu are you hearing me napata hilo wake up to the fact hebu amkeni kwenye ukweli huo if you can't receive it like that kama mnaweza kulipokea namna hiyo then you cannot have the effect of it basi amtaweza kupata you can't have you can't have the effects of it the result of it kama amwezi kulipokea namna hiyo basi amwezi kupata matokeo yake because the, the result kwa sababu yale matokeo is determined yanatokana na by reception mapokezi uliopokelea are you hearing me amen the result is determined by reception matokeo yanatokana na namna ulivyopokea the, the, the bible says in matthew na, chapter 10 verse yeye anasema katika mathayo 10 he says in verses 40 kwenye mstari wa 40 he that receiveth me yeye anipokeae mimi and he that receiveth me nae he an... says he that receiveth You receiveth me. Yeye awapokeae ninyi anipokea mimi. And he says he that receiveth me, naye anipokeae mimi. Receiveth him that sent me. Anampokea yeye aliyenipeleka. He that receiveth a prophet, yeye ampokeae nabii. In the name of a prophet, katika jina la nabii huyo. Shall receive a prophet's reward atapokea thawabu ya nabi and he that receives the righteous man naye ampokeae mtu mwenye haki in the name of a righteous man katika jina la mwenye haki huyu shall receive a righteous man's reward atapokea thawabu ya mwenye haki reception mapokezi if you receive a prophet ukimnapompokea nabi not in the name of a man sio katika jina la mtu but in the name of a prophet lakini katika jina la nabii you receive a prophet's reward unapokea thawabu ya nabii reception mapokezi let's put a comma there we'll close ngoja tuweke that. mkato hapo tutarudi and she was thinking of the scripture naye alikuwa akiwazia maandiko uh, that the scripture was being confirmed to her kwamba maandiko yalikuwa yanathibitishwa kwake a child is born 
Mtoto amezaliwa. A son is given. Mwana ametolewa. And about that time. Na katika wakati huo huo. She seen something flash. Akaona mwanga fulani unamlika. Before the little virgin. Mbele ya yule binti Bikira. This is Mary's belief of 1960. Huu ni ujumbe wa imani ya Mariamu wa mwaka 1960. So this man is not preaching. He is saying what he is seeing in the vision. Kwa hiyo huyo mtu sio kwamba anahubiri anasema kila anachoona kwenye ono. What I'm just reading here is not written in the Bible. Hiki kinachosoma hapa kijaandikwa kwenye Biblia. Okay. He <laughs> say and about that time. Where is that in the Bible? Na anasema na She seen something flash before the little virgin. Na katika wakati huo huo akaona kitu mwanga fulani unamlika mbele ya yule mtu. No doubt in my mind like the pillar of fire. Na nuru ambayo bila shaka e, ilikuwa ni ile nuru nguzo ya moto. And standing there was an angel. Na kusimama pale alikuwa ni malaika. The mighty Gabriel. Yule malaika Gabriel mkuu. He is a messenger to the Jews. Yeye ndiye mjumbe kwa Wayahudi. Okay. Did you hear that? Meisikia hiyo. There's also something that is said there. Sasa kuna kitu anakisema pale. That is not said there. Ambacho akijasema kule. He says it's a messenger to the Jews. Amen. Okay, let me say what is not said. Sasa hebu nisemi kile ambacho hajasema. And to the Gentiles. Eh? It's not said there. Na na kwa mataifa. But it's said. Watch. Lakini angalia anachosema. He says remember. Anasema kumbukeni. Gabriel announced the first coming of Kumbukeni Gabriel alitangaza kuja kwa kwanza kwa nani? And Gabriel will announce the second coming of Na Gabriel huyo huyo atatangaza okay, kuja kwa pili kwa nani? Now, now do you see the, the gentle part? Sasa okay. amuoni hapo Jesus Christ. Sasa Yesu Christ comes three times. Anakuja mara tatu. The first time mara ya kwanza to the Jews. Kwa kwa Yahudi. Dies on the cross. Akafa msalabani. The second coming mara ya pili is not to the Jews. Si kwa Wayahudi. The second time mara ya pili is a secret catching away. Ni ku, ni ku, ni kunyakuwa kwa siri of the gentiles kwa wa ma, watu wa mataifa the third time mara ya tatu is for the millennial reign ni kwa ajili ya utawala wa miaka 1000 three comings of christ kuja kwa tatu kwa kwanza gabriel gabriel announced the first coming alitangaza kuja kwa kwanza and gabriel na gabriel we announce the second coming atatangaza kuja kwa pili the last message i preached ujumbe wa mwisho niliohubiri in benoni it was called kule benoni ilikuwa ni wa zamani the things concerning himself ah uliitwa mambo yanayomhusu yeye when jesus was speaking to the friends going to emmaus wakati yo, yesu ananena habari za watu wanaoenda emmaus kule he didn't tell them that i am jesus hakuambia kwamba mimi ni yesu the, the scripture says and he expounded unto them maandiko anasema kwamba akawafafanulia na kuwafafanulia things kaisa. concerning himself mambo yanayomhusu yeye mwenyewe starting from moses akianzia kwa musa and to the prophets mpaka kwa manabii proving how christ akithibitisha jinsi kristo suffer these things ilipaswa ayapatika apatwe na mwanadamu he never said i am he mimi ndio mwenyewe but at the breaking of bread lakini wakati wa kumega mkate opened and they caught it okay. macho yao yakafunguka oh, wakaona hey, 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 hey. ngoja 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 The word is in the bride. Neno liko ndani ya Biblia. As it was in men. Kama ilivyo kwa ndani ya Mariamu. It can't be in the bride ha. unless Gabriel has come. Hawezi kuwa bibi harusi mpaka Gabriel aje. Hallelujah. So this man who is telling you this. Sasa huyo ma is part of the equation. Huyo mwanaume anayewaambia mambo hayo. He is telling you Gabriel Huyo mwanaume anaitwa Gabriel. We'll announce the second coming. Okay. Ni sehemu ya kanuni hiyo. Anasema Gabriel atatangaza kuja kwa pili. This is 1960. Give give us the next one. Ngoja niwape nyingine. Hiyo ni mwaka 60. This is 1960. Huyo eh F1 1960. Huyo ni mwaka 1961. Okay, let's read it now. Hebu tuisome. She knew that that angel was from God. Alijua kwamba malaika huyo anatoka kwa Mungu. And when she seen his action, na alipoona vitendo vyake, looked at him 
It must be an angel. He said, I am Gabriel. Standing in the right hand of God. Now when God gets ready to do something, he sends a message. Always, always yes. He always will. Da, lazima afanye hivyo daima. Gabriel announced the first coming of Christ. Gabriel alitangaza kuja kwa kwanza kwa Kristo. Gabriel will announce the second coming of Christ. Gabriel atatangaza kuja kwa pili kwa Kristo. That's right. Ye, yeah, hiyo ni sawa. Something is fixing to happen. Kitu fulani kinaenda kutendeka. Hey, 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 hey. Gabriel has announced Gabriel has announced. Gabriel ashatangaza. The second coming of Christ. Kuja kwa pili kwa Kristo. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amen. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Maybe when I come next time. Labda nitakapokuja mara ya pili. I'll preach on the ministry of angels. Nitahubiri kuhusu huduma la malaika. Uh, the, the seven services are too short for us to preach on that. <laughs> we'll come next time. Gabriel, Gabriel, I stand in the presence of God. Gabriel was the first angel to be mentioned by name in the Bible. Is that right? Amen. And then Dipo, he was withstood alisimama by. Uh, the, the prince of Persia. Ah, alizuiliwa na wakuwa anga wa wa Medi na wajeni. So, so, so these are not just angels. Sasa awa si malaika tu. Malaika tu. These are what they call archangels. Ah, wanaitwa wale malaika waku. So, so God. Kwa hivyo mungu is a fair God. Mungu ni mungu ambaye hana upendeleo. So, when God wants to do something, Mungu anapotaka kufanya jambo fulani, depending on what needs to be done. Kulingana na kila anachotaka kufanya. He doesn't always come as the supernatural God. Daima yeye haji kama kitu fulani kikuu cha kinachotisha cha kimbinguni. If the need is cutting the garden, kama swala ni kusafisha eh bustani, he just becomes a gardener. Yeye anakuja kama msafisha bustani. And we say the gardener, the gardener. Alafu mtasema, ayule msafisha bustani, yule msafisha bustani. Remember when Mary came to the sepulchre, she saw the gardener. Eh, mnakumbuka yule Maria Magdalena alipoenda kwenye makaburi, aliona nani mtunza bustani kule. Yeah. But who was it? Lakini alikuwa ni nani? Sometimes he becomes a stranger. Wakati mwingine anakuja kama mgeni kabisa. When Cleopas and his friend were going, wakati Cleopas na mwenzie wanatembea kule, who did they see? Waliona nani? A stranger. Mtu okay. mgeni right. kabisa. Sawa. So, so okay. Sasa. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's God. Ni Mungu. He says Satan has rebelled. Asema shetani but Satan is not God. Shetani ameasi, lakini shetani sio Mungu. Lucifer is an angel. Lucifer ni malaika. God, Mungu cannot fight Lucifer. Hawezi kupigana na Lucifer. So God must become an angel. Kwa sababu Mungu inabidi ashuka awe kiwango cha malaika Lucifer. ili apigane na Lucifer. <laughs> Amen. So 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 he becomes he becomes Michael. Sasa anageuka anakuwa Mikael. And he fights. Alafu ndiye anapigana. So 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 Michael, kwa hiyo Michael becomes God. Mikael anakuwa Mungu sasa. In the form of a fighting angel. Katika umbo la malaika mpiganaji. But, but, but wait. <laughs> Subiri kwa. But there is there is Daniel there. Lakini kuna Danieli kule. We want to send a message to Daniel. Nataka tumtumie ujumbe Danieli kule. We can't send Michael. Sasa hatuwezi kutuma Michael. Because Michael is a fight is God in the fight. So God has to become huyo uh, Mikaeli ni mpiganaji. Sasa inabidi Mungu afanyike Gabriel. Uh, God Mungu has to become Gabriel. Inabidi afanyike Gabriel to be, to send a message. Ili atume ujumbe. Are you hearing me? Nasikia hiyo. And when the prince of Persia withstands him. Na wale wakuu anga wa 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 
wageni wakianza kupigana wakianza kupigana apigani nao katika Gabriel is not a fighter kwa sababu Gabriel sio mpiganaji Gabriel is the manifestation of God Gabriel ni madhirisho ya Mungu as an angel of glad tidings kama malaika wa kupeleka ujumbe so, so mwema God has to come na kwa hiyo inabidi Mungu as Michael kama Mikaeli to fight apigane vita and release Gabriel no. na amwashilie Gabriel the one that fought is not the one that went with the message because that's not his office yule aliyepigana si aliyepeleka ujumbe kwa sababu si ofisi yake okay all right all right oh, 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 oh. <laughs> genesis chapter 18 eh genesis 18 mwanzo sura 18 brother branham says Mbrano anasema Elohim came down Elohim alishuka He took dust akachukua mavumbi akapuliza And brother Bram says and he said Michael get him there Mbrano akasema uh, Mikaeli ingia hapo But Michael is God Lakini Mikaeli ni Mungu Because brother Bram tells us Michael is Christ Kwa sababu nabia anatuambia Mikaeli ni ni Kristo akasema He says Gabriel get in there Ah Gabriel nawe ingia He says and they started walking Na wakaanza kutembea the three Wata, of them watatu When they got to Abraham, walipofika kwa Abraham, what did Abraham say? Abraham alisemaje? My Lord. Alisema bwana zangu. He didn't say alisemaje? My Lord. Alisema Okay, all right. Luto alisema bwana zangu, Abraham akasema ah, bwana wangu. You got it. Mlipata. Gabriel announced. Gabriel. The first coming of Christ. Alitangaza. Brother Branham says. Do Branham anasema. You believe Brother Branham? Mnamwamini Do Branham. Brother Branham says. Do Branham anasema. And Gabriel na Gabriel shall take the trumpet atachukua and baragumu. blow the trumpet na kuipuliza baragumu and the dead shall rise na wafu watafufuka is it a quotation yeah ni nukuu hiyo Gabriel shall blow the trumpet Gabriel atapuliza baragumu put a comma put a comma weka mkato weka mkato first Thessalonians chapter 4 wa Thessalonica wa kwa wa kwa himself na bwana mwenyewe shall descend atashuka with a shout na mwaliko with the voice of an archangel na sauti ya malaika mkuu and the trump of god na baragumu ya mungu shall sound itapigwa the, the what the na, trump of god na baragumu ya mungu shall sound itapigwa and the dead in christ na walio kufa katika kristo watafufuliwa brother branham says du branham anasema jesus christ yesu christ that's all three anafanya yote matatu it is coming anapokuja all right it's up to you vema ni juu reception Mapokeo. Can you receive it? Mnaweza kulipokea. And Brother Branham says Chicago. Anasema anafanya yote. Chicago. I show you God in flesh. Anas- He says Chicago is preaching in Chicago. Branham anasema wakati anahubiri Chicago anasema Chicago nitawaonyesha Mungu katika mwili. He says Chicago here is a super sign. Chicago hii hapa ishara iliyo kuu. God manifested in flesh. Mungu amedhihirishwa katika mwili. Right before you. Mbele yenu kabisa. It's not a man. Sio mwanadamu. It's God that came. Ni Mungu amekuja. To preach to us. Kutuhubiria. And then after preaching he becomes a man again. Baada kuhubiri anakuwa mwanadamu. He comes and takes the pulpit. Baada anakuja mimbarani. God comes and speaks to us. Mungu anakuja na tunenea. And after the preaching it's a man again. Akimara, akimaliza anakuwa mwanadamu. And tonight is the same thing. Na usiku wa leo ni yule yule. God of William Branham. Branham Can you say man? He is here tonight. You go up at Union. For they under their prophet messenger. Yeah. For they under their prophet messenger. Kwa sababu wao chini ya mjumbe wao shall become watakuwa the final voice. Sauti ya mwisho. To the final age. Kwa kizazi cha mwisho. The word is in the bride. Neno liko ndani ya bibi harusi. As it was in Mary. Kama ilivyo kwa ndani ya Mariamu. She is the says the Lord. Anaye bwana asema hivi. He that receives a prophet. Yeye anayempokea nabii. In the name of a prophet. Katika jina la nabii. Shall receive. Atapokea. A prophet reward. Thawabu ya nabii. And brother Branham says. Nabii anasema. What is it to receive a prophet? Ni nini kupokea thawabu ya nabii? to become a friend. Ni kuwa rafiki of the prophet wa nabii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu ambariki sana. Amen. Friends of the prophet. Amen. Friends of the prophet. Marafiki za nabii. Friends of the prophet. Marafiki za nabii. Hallelujah. Amen. When Elohim came wakati nipo when elohim came wakati elohim alipokuja when he was received alipopokelewa by reception kwa mapokezi and they took him in wakamuingiza ndani and he had eaten 
a color. Just the way like I ate this morning. Kama nilivyo kula asubuhi ya leo. I ate sanene. Nilikula senene. 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 Yeah, yeah, Ndio senene. senene this morning. Asubuhi ya leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there was mango there. Na kulikuwa na maembe pale. There was milk there. Kulikuwa na maziwa. And there was tea, there was na kulikuwa na chai na kila kitu. Elohim came down. Elohim wakaja. And he was eating. Akaanza kula. When he was finished eating. Baada ya kula kula after reception. Baada ya kushiba. After they received him. Baada ya kumpokea. He said I'm going. Akasema naondoka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said I'm going. Asema naondoka. And then he thought. Akagumbuka. He that receives the prophet. Yeye anayempokea nabii. In the name of a prophet. Kwa jina la nabii. So receive a prophet in one. Atapokea thawabu ya nabii. Abraham Abraham became a friend of Akawa God. Akawa rafiki wa Mungu. By reception. Kwa pokezi. God said. Na Mungu akasema. Shall I hide? Hivi naweza kumficha. Shall I hide anything? Naweza kuficha chochote. Seeing Abraham is my friend. Kwa kuona Abraham ni rafiki. Shall I hide anything? Nitaficha chochote. Keep our tabernacle. Kipawa maskani ya kipawa. God will not hide anything from you. Mungu hatawaficha kitu. Oh you have received. Kwa sababu mmepokea. The prophet. Nabi. God bless you pastor. Mungu akubariki mchungaji. Let's stand up on our feet. Hebu tusimame. Come pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu awabariki. Amen. Amen. Bwana awabariki sana. Amen. <laughs> Sasa huu ni mwanzo tu. Now this is just the beginning. Kwa leo tuishie hapo, twende nyumbani, Amen. tuendelee kuomba, kesho tuwahi. Mke, mkate wa kesho bila shaka utakuwa mtamu zaidi. Amen. Amen. Basi naomba ni mwalike tu mchungaji uh, Chidai kama naweza kasema tu kaneno kamoja. Alafu baadaye nitamkaribisha Fred afunge kwa maombi. Wewe mchungaji Chidai karibu sana. Hawa uh, ndio wazee. Hawa ndio wazee wetu. Nitafikiria. Na yeye kata wazee hapa. Mzee, hawa elders. Ah, uh, kwa kweli nime eh unajua siku nyingine una una sikia ya Christmas. Inataka kuwa kama mapokeo kwetu. Yeah. Kwamba hakuna kitu cha ajabu lakini naona kuna kitu cha ajabu amen sisi kwa ndani ya Yesu mm. eh amen hii reception ni hatari sasa unaweza ukazarau zarau kitu hapa kumbe imecha thamani sana yeah mimi sijawahi kuona reception kama hii yeah Mungu akubariki sana hebu hebu tutumie kama hata kana usustaa leo usiku tuombe ziada zinazokuja amen ili tumuone Mungu zaidi amen sijasikia ujumbe kama huu reception bwana akubariki sana amen haleluya <laughs> amen baada ya hapo naomba mchungaji Freddy eh huyo naye sisi hapa tunamtambua kama unampenda mwanaume yule ndivyo tunavyomfahamu <laughs> atafunga kwa maombi anaweza akasema neno kidogo afa akafunga kwa maombi sababu ni mlevi mwen wapo wa, wa neno <laughs> Amen Jina Bwana ibarikiwe Amen kwa kweli tunamshukuru Mungu sana kwa neema na kwa upendo wake Ya kwa namna anaweza kutuunganisha na mataifa mbalimbali alafu mmejikuta huko kitu kile kile Ya in case sio kwamba tunamshangilia ndugu aa tunashangilia yule malaika yeah. <laughs> haleluya kwa sababu ufunuo ni Mungu kurudia kuyasoma aliyoyaandika ndio maana tuna, tunainuka tunashangilia kwa sababu ni Mungu anakuwa amerudia kusoma aliyoyaandika kwa hiyo sina mengi ya kuongea Tujiweke vizuri tu. Kuna jambo jema. Tuweze kuomba. Bwana Yesu, Mungu mpenzi, tunashukulani nyingi.
Amen. Kwa jioni hii umetutembelea kiajabu. Tumekuwa na katika neno lako. Vile umejifunua katikati yetu. Hatuna lugha tunaweza kuongea ila tunakujisha sifa na shukulani Wewe ndiye Mungu. Zaidi ya wewe hakuna Mungu bwana. Asante kwa ndugu yetu huyu. Tunazidi kumweka katika mkono wako wenye nguvu. Tuombe ukamfunike kwa utukufu wako. Tuzidi kumbeba katika mbawa zako. Baba, muingize kwenye zile anga hata ambazo hakuzijua. Alafu ukampe yale aliyofichika sana. Alafu akayalete kwenye mimbala hii. Alafu wewe uka, hata kama hawezi kuondoka njiani, wewe ukamsukume. Alafu ukasimame mwenyewe, alafu ufanye mapenzi yako. Hata akishindwa kuondoka njiani, tumia uweza wako asikushinde mwanadamu wewe umfanye mateka umvae mguu kwa mguu mkono kwa mkono macho kwa macho na mdomo kwa mdomo halafu ukanene na mkutano huu sifa na utukufu tutakupa Mungu wa mbinguni hatutamtukuza mwanadamu kwa hili tutakutukuza wewe Bwana kwamba umetunenea nakabizi mkutano huu mikononi mwako tunaomba uweza wako wa kiungu ukautawale hivi tunapokwenda kutawanyika tunaomba ukatawanyike na kila mmoja mmoja bwana ukawe deliver boda boda ukawe mtembea kwa miguu ukawe deliver wa gari tena ukawe deliver wa daladala yote yakatendeke kwa utukufu wako hata utakapotuleta tena katika malango haya kesho tukiwa salama tujiachilia katika mkono wako wenye nguvu tukiombeana neema mmoja kwa mwingine katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo Mungu mpenzi Amen.